I'm Natalie from ATMS and welcome to Natural Medicine Week. Today I'm joined by one of our ambassadors, Tanya Edwards, who is going to go through how her modality naturopathy can help certain conditions. Thank you, Tanya. Thanks, Natalie. And hi, everyone. I'm Tanya. I'm founder of Performance and Health Wellbeing Clinic in Sydney, and I'm an accredited naturopath. So in my clinic, uh, I work with a number of conditions, but today with this little video, I'm going to talk about um, burnout, chronic fatigue, and health issues that arise as a consequence for predominantly high-performing people. So what does high-performing mean? Now, that's not just senior managers or business owners, but it includes busy mums or parents that are doing it all, juggling many things, people working and studying at the same time, which, if that's you, is horrendous. Those that are caring for an aging parent is incredibly stressful and demanding, or those recovering from a trauma, whatever that may be. Women going through the menopausal trans transition, that can also fit into this category. So burnout or ex exhaustion affects your whole being, um, not just mentally, but physically. And there's also a very fine line between exhaustion and low mood, a very, very fine line. Now, let me give you an example. So let's say you're a Formula One race car. Now you need more petrol than if you are just taking that car from the garage to the shop once a day, right? So the car needs more regular servicing as well. All the car starts to break down. And that is pretty much what happens to those of us with Formula One lifestyles. A lot going on in every direction. And I also know this from personal experience as I've started my career in the busy corporate world of financial services. I've also built and run several companies from startup, and I studied a degree part-time whilst also working full-time for many years. So I know Formula One and I definitely know burnout. So how can naturopathy as a whole support those preventing, you know, support those people either by preventing burnout, which is the ideal scenario, or those that have reached this burnout stage already and need a deep amount of healing and restoration? So what are some of the strategies and actions that we use as naturopaths to support people with burnout? A review of diet is always a key part of the strategy and it can be incredibly powerful and a game changer and can never be underestimated. However, I support, you know, how I support recovery or preventing burnout um, is, is a, quite a, um, a detailed approach. There are some absolutely beautiful herbal medicines called restoratives, adaptogens and anxiolytics, meaning they help you adapt to the stresses much better and support depleted adrenals. Herbs for low mood can also be incredibly supportive at that time. Herbs for energy, in my opinion, are a gift from our plant kingdom, things that I use regularly. So I also use them regularly with clients in helping that next day become bearable so they can achieve some of those life KPIs. Supplements to calm a dysfunctional gut or herbs to help you sleep soundly so the next day is a happier day are often used. Herbs and supplements to balance blood sugar because blood sugar is quite a powerful component of energy and also herbs and supplements to reduce any sinus or allergies that may be ripping the energy away from you or boosting your immune system so you don't fall prey to colds and flus which may be part of your particular picture. In my clinic as well, I also refer to the mental health practitioners that I have in clinic. Sometimes clients need an, need an additional level of support to help them move to that next chapter um, because the mind and the body are so, you know, are so interconnected. So I use that support service as well. And a big passion for me is supporting self-care strategies moving forward for clients and appropriate circuit breakers. I find that, you know, people that are high performing or people that have busy lives for whatever reason, it's very easy to fall back into old habits. And so working out what your circuit breakers are is a big part of the strategy to help you keep on track and not go back to the burnout that you are now experiencing. So how long could all this take to have an impact? That's a good question. Everybody's different, probably not the answer you wanted. And the more, but the more chronic the burnout, the longer to restore. However, I find that when you do the work up front properly, where we work together to understand what is driving or sustaining the burnout or chronic fatigue, then moving into a maintenance position is a far easier transition. 
And you'll also have the education to put things in place for yourself moving forward because naturopathy is also a self-empowerment process. So in signing off, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video and learning about burnout strategies, how a naturopath can support you a little bit, some information about me, the reasons my clinic is named Performance and Health, and also if you'd like some more information on the clinic, um, please go into www.performanceinhealth.com.au and thank you very much. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Tanya, for going through a great insight of how naturopathy can help someone with fatigue and burnout and exhaustion. I wish you all a happy Natural Medicine Week. Bye.